grab anything when you walk out the door. I grab nothing but two Tortino's pizza out of the refrigerator and my doggy, and we left. Yeah, oh, uh, her leg was slightly in the water. I mean, when they were coming out, like, they're dipping in. It, it was pretty rough out there. Um, I didn't know for one thing. What were you talking about again? Scarred for life. Details on that case when we come back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll tell you what happened, but let me start for him. Saying Luzans are still upset after the NFL team's owner moved the Rams to L.A. Yeah, but the Indianapolis Colts are trying to ease the face. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> and rapper Snoop Dogg in a fight with Microsoft mogul Bill Gates. <laughs> <laughs> The game, it's all over a game. Microsoft's <laughs> online game, Network Xbox Live, <laughs> suffered a major outage Wednesday afternoon and Snoop went on Instagram immediately, posted some profanity-laced video blaming Gates. Gates actually is not part of Microsoft's day-to-day -day operations anymore, but he's still on the board. And I have to tell you what happened. Brian coming over here ready, because he's Mr. Slick Brian, ready to do the news. And he almost like I face almost down. Face palmed and but Don didn't try to catch me, but he, we almost <laughs> saw a tragedy on live on TV. He was We're smooth okay. though. Somebody <laughs> had that video that. He was smooth. Sorry, folks. You know, yesterday I went for a long walk with the kiddo and the dog. Okay. Um, and so I kinda wanna repeat that. I wanna wanna go for maybe a run do it earlier. Today. As early as possible probably is the best time frame to do anything outside today. All right. But it shouldn't be too bad for East Noted. Illinois. Very good. What'd you do yesterday? Did you go outside? What? Are you having a moment? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we discovered. And <laughs> you guys have heard of face swap. It's been around for I'm a while. Sorry. We just did it today, and <clears throat> I posted the picture on my Facebook page. <clears throat> Are you crying? I am crying. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we now call ourselves Symphony. <gasps> wow. It's a really creepy photo. I don't. I don't Please, know if you want Facebook to see it. Someone, one viewer commented saying, I will have nightmares for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I honestly, when I scroll through my feed and I see, not your picture, but I see those other pictures, oh. I don't realize what it is at first. And I, it does, it kind of like jolts you, it kind of scares you. It's a little creepy. If I ever wanted I'm to know what I look like swap. with long hair, no, I, <laughs> no, I <don't> know. <laughs> oh, no! Who did that? Take that down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's what Cynthia that and Anthony would look like. Oh, they, my that goodness. That is such a disturbing thing to see at 6, 16 a.m. I'm sweating. I can't even stop <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Ooh. A lot of people just turned off WCA. Yes, they did. <laughs> yes, Don't they change did. that channel. Okay. No, it's all right. If you had to see that, I would do it, too. I promise we won't do it again. <laughs> We'll be right We're back. We're going to we take a, a minute break. to collect right. ourselves here. A a Super Bowl 50 just wrapped up on our sister station, 7 News, a few minutes ago. Since CBS is still on the air with post-game coverage, we're not allowed to show you any actual highlights of the game between the Panthers and the Broncos just yet. But that doesn't mean we can't tell you what happened and give you some highlights in fun fashion. Here we go. Obviously, the game started with a coin toss. That coin landed on tails, which the Panthers won, and they opted to receive in the second half. Now, let's introduce you to tonight's participants. We've got Miles the mascot representing the Broncos and Sir Purr stepping in for the Panthers. And they brought along some of their teammates as well. First quarter, Von Miller gets to Cam Newton, forces the fumble. The ball comes out. When the ball comes out, enter Malik Jackson. He jumps on it in the end zone for the touchdown, Broncos up 10-0 after one quarter of play. But the Panthers come back in the second quarter. Jonathan Stewart gets the ball at the one-yard line, and he comes, leaps up and over across the goal line for the one-yard touchdown. That cuts the lead to 10-7. The third quarter is relatively uneventful. However, Panthers kicker Graham Gano misses a field goal. Oh! Off the upright, but the Broncos kicker Brandon McManus, meanwhile, connects on his third field goal of the game. Denver leads 16-7 entering the fourth quarter. It's a 16-10 game midway through the fourth quarter when that guy shows up again. Mr. Von Miller comes across. He gets to Cam Newton. The ball comes out once again and the Broncos recover. That sets up a C.J. Anderson short touchdown run 
and that puts the Broncos on top 24 to 10. And that, my friends, is the final score. So right now, over on our sister station, you see lots of Bronco people celebrating. And with celebration, you have confetti. The confetti falls, and that is what we've got as the Broncos win the Super Bowl. 24 to 10 is the final. Wait a minute. Some people are getting their lottery tickets for free. How does that work? Yeah, they're giving away 500 free tickets. We're down to about 200 this morning, and it's been really busy here this morning, actually. And we actually have the Hoosier uh, lottery <laughs> mascot doing Gangnam style for us this morning, so it's pretty festive for this early. I want to see the guy in the suit and the tie yeah, do the have same Al thing. <laughs> they want you to do Gangnam style. Can you dance for us? <laughs> I think I think that's a no. <laughs> <laughs> but he can tell us, you've done this before. This isn't the first time we've done the ticket giveaway. No, for sure. Anytime we get a jackpot that, uh, that gets on a little bit of a run, we like to come out and uh, get in on the phone with the players. So we're back at it. And tell me, we've seen, you know, it's kind of ebbed and flowed. It was really busy when we started this morning. Mm -hmm. There was a lull, and now you can kind of tell people are heading to work. They're stopping in this morning. What, what are some of the things folks have said this morning? You know, everybody's just excited. This is a moment where they start talking about what would I do, who would I call, who will I help. So uh, it's just fun listening to everybody chat. All right, Al, thanks so much. And, you know, we were here at uh, 5 this morning, and there was a woman in line already uh, waiting for the ticket giveaway that started at 6. So we said, what are you going to do if you win? You know, everybody can dream. And she said the first thing she was going to do is change her phone number. <laughs> and the second thing she would do is call a family meeting to try to convince them all that money doesn't buy happiness. So we told her good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't believe, Jessica, that there's not a huge line out the door for the free lottery tickets. What, what, what gives on that? Well, there was. When they first started giving them away at 6, there was a line out the door, and then it kind of lulled, and now as people are heading to school and work, it's it's picking back up throughout the morning. So it's just kind of coming and going. <laughs> I, 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 the mascot is just hysterical. <laughs> I know. She's great, isn't she? I know. It really keeps me energy up, too, for so early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm thinking about how many live shots you have to go all morning and just how much dancing that mascot has to do. Let me. Are they paying that? This this really helps. Oh, that person wins the lottery, right? <laughs> Jessica, thank you so much. I know. You're wondering if you're seeing the winner walk through. <laughs> yeah, that is fascinating. <laughs> that is so funny. Everyone loves the mascot. Jessica, thank you. Perfect time to stay indoors. But for how much longer? What do you think, Leia? Yeah, dreary is pretty much what you're, what, what you're looking at outside right now. Definitely a lot of fog as well as a lot of rain. That's the story this evening, and we are expecting that, well, through the rest of the weekend. But for the week ahead, are we expecting that? I'll let you know after the break. Pigs are reportedly running rampant in a Venice community. The Jacaranda West Country Club Village has recently reported wild hogs tearing up residents' yards. We bring out our first model, Kelly. Oh, oh Kelly. Oh, my goodness, darling. Okay. Kelly. I'm sorry. I'm attached. I can't help Kelly. Okay. Just take off your shoes, sweetheart. All right, Kelly's, Kelly's wearing the faux fur. Um, make his first appearance. But in this case, uh, LaBeouf did not have that, and LaBeouf obviously, excuse, excuse oh. me, 
LaBeouf obviously kept on moving uh, during the course of this scenario. Yes. Oh, Holy Christ! Hang on a second, guys. Are we talking about doing the story? I'm going to go when somebody tells me, am I doing a tease or are we doing the story itself? Thirty-one right now. I got busted. busted. Yeah, I was. It's gonna happen eventually, right? Hey, hey, first time in how many years? Yeah, yeah. Uh, crews from a number of fire departments. Så det är som målet när svenskarna väljer påskresa. President's historic state visit to Britain is drawing to a close today. Chris May, along with my banker from the 1920s, Gary Archibald. The evidence showed that he purposely waited for an empty bus. Quinn had been suffering from a long-term illness over the last year or so. We're gonna, or excuse me, yes, uh, we have there. You, excuse me. Some of the nation's major airlines are spending big butt, big bucks. Excuse me, this year. Final day of the NFL draft. We want to show you a look at the Rams' remaining picks today. <laughs> Here we are. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are we back? Good morning, America. Uh, well, plenty more to come from here, of course. None of it news, uh, because that'll come from Buckingham Palace. But that won't stop us. We've also seen uh, several police vehicles as well. In the meantime, let's go to the video right now and tell you about... Kizzy Mivet got the chance to cover this year's Polar Plunge and event... Uh, benefiting. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Now, um, excuse me. We'll show you how firefighters are having to deal with that coming up at 6. Thanks for joining us. Nightly News is next. They still got a long way to go in their recovery, but they're not going it alone. How their friends are all helping in for them tonight. We are going to continue to experience sunny skies and temperatures in the 80s. All right, let's take a look at your dot biz event. Construction workers are going to be working about 10 hour days to get it done. It's crazy. Um, yeah, so check it out. Check out my package receive some employment assistance where they'll be getting some resume and application help. The production plant will be shut down in phases. A tree near the house and perhaps an antenna maybe bouncing off of one another or all at once. Another storm's moving and we've got to go. This coming Saturday. Oh, I think I just watched her dip the mic into the water. Yes, okay. <laughs> Time for a pie in the face. We'll have a live report next. Oh. <laughs> oh, Safety, as you know, is paramount. Complained to some advertisers. Oh, well, cameras are getting a little That was the camera, there. not an earthquake. <laughs> the billboard owner sued them. Lean and this now way, lean this way. There oh, you go. Hi. On to some basket. Okay. Basketball now as this is all right. We will be back after this break. I don't hear anything. He went to Miami, he went to California. They are curious to see if any tattoos, new ones appeared on him at that time, in that time frame. <laughs> Puck will drop on that game, on game one rather, between the Habs and Lightnings tonight. Ugh. Uh. Am I like way short? Okay. Chris, we just have to say to you, we just heard during the break that this is your first day of work. Welcome. What a story you have. Okay. <laughs> I guess Chris says, Chris says, I'm out here so long.